Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're about to start the preparation for the ultimate protection on this brand new BMW M340i. They want to protect from rock chips and it's been quite a while, probably close to a year since I covered the subject. And we're going to start from scratch here. We're going to wash the vehicle, we're going to foam it, we're going to wash it, dry it off. We're going to correct it and then we'll protect it with Flexi Shield paint protection film. Just like any form of protection, wax sealant, ceramic coating, graphene coating, metal oxide coating, or film, you're going to get the most out of your protection if you put the proper prep into it. A wash, decontamination, clay bar, eye remover if needed. This is a brand new car. This is not going to get that. Uh, just a little bit of clay down around the bottom of the vehicle. It has a few miles on it. Already has a rock chip or two as well. So we're going to protect this before it gets any worse. It's never too late for a coating or paint protection film. You can correct the paint, any minor blemishes or imperfections and then lay your protection over it. The best time to protect it is before you even put the first mile on it. If the car is new to you or brand new from the dealership, I would get it protected before you take it out on roadways. So let's finish up with the pre-wash, the wheels, the contact wash, and then we'll bring it inside and dry it off completely. Once it's brought in, it's dried off, we notice there are some minor scratching, just minor love marks. Kakemi F601 and the corresponding pad, they are color-coded, a very easy correction system that I highly recommend for you to at least to look into. We're going to go over this vehicle and then we'll uh, wipe it down, panel prep, IP solution, whatever you use, and it's time to protect. As simple as that. With the shop manager keeping us in line, we'll work our way all the way around the vehicle. And with this combination, it won't take us long to get this perfected. A panel prep, well, even a wash and a panel prep, just to make sure before pay protection film, to remove any waxes, sealants, oils from the polishes themselves. Very important to get a great bond uh, from the adhesive on the back of the paint protection film to the surface of the car. We'll bring in the swirl finder and we can see that the surface is ready for protection, imperfection free. Your shop as clean as possible. So on those days, the shop manager gets shuffled into the office. We take all the cars out, all the equipment. We do a thorough sweep, mop. We blow out the shop. We wet the floors down. We don't want any loose dust, hair, or dirt floating in the air. We're going to then thoroughly rinse the panel that we're going to protect first. This will rinse any dirt or dust that has been floating in the air from us cleaning out the bay. And then we'll uh, grab our slip solution, which is a mixture of a couple drops of baby shampoo and clean water. This goes onto the surface so the film can float up above the surface and we can make adjustments. 
We here at Apex Detail chose Flexi Shield because of its ease of use and it looks fantastic, hard to spot. Um, so we have it up on the roof here. We're going to peel it off of the backing and we're going to lay it on the surface. We'll flip it over, lay it on the surface. And then we're going to remove yet another protective layer on top of the film. They like to have that double layer to keep the film pristine until it's time to apply it. With that out of the way, we will proceed with the application of the film. Everybody does it their own way, some small differences here and there, but we like to tack the corners and then attach the middle and work our way out from the middle. On most panels, a lot of the flatter panels, some of the other ones with a lot of high spots, um, peaks, contours, and body lines, you may want to start there, then go back into the middle. It all depends. We will be covering this uh, in a little bit more uh, detail at the training session that we have coming up the uh, beginning of November, November 6th and 7th. It's coming up quick. A lot of you are coming. I can't wait to see you guys again. We're going to cover a lot and this will be included. So we like to pull the film taut and tack at the corners. Then we'll uh, do our inspection and go from there. It's looking good. The film is relaxing on the hood, so we're going to start pulling some other areas taut. Tack it in the middle. Bring that line all the way down towards the emblem. A lot of the water and the air pockets or that slip solution can be worked out with your hand first before you even grab your squeegee. When you're running your squeegee down the film to remove the slip solution and the air, put some firm pressure down there. It'll take it and also overlap your squeegee marks by about 50% just to make sure and uh, never push the water and the air bubbles in different directions. Always push them or pull them away from you in one direction to ensure you're getting rid of them. a great shot. I was working in the middle, pulling the slip solution and the air bubbles towards us, and they will escape as they get towards the edge. Never tack the edge all the way around your panel, and the slip solution and air will have nowhere to escape. So we only attack at the corners, and you'll see me constantly lifting up either at the edges or on the peaks and body lines and squeegee so it gives a little bit of uh, room for the slip solution and the air to escape. Again, the big pockets of air and the larger pockets of the slip solution, you can just remove with your hand alone. With the center tacked down really tight at this point, I'm going to lift up the corners and the edges or the end of the film there up to the body line. Then we can pull any uh, of the tack solution and the bubbles that are stuck on the peak, lay it back down and squeegee out and lay that film down from there. If you're going to get your hand back under the film, make sure it's clean. Uh, make sure your clothing's clean. We use a lint roller on my arms uh, and also on my clothing as well. Make sure everything's clean. And if you need to, get a lot of slip solution in there and rinse away any uh, hair or dust or dirt or grit that you uh, come in contact with. You don't want to lock it in under the film. By the way, on the corners and uh, where I really want to tack the paint 
protection film down and get it to lock in. I'm going to use uh, a tack solution, and that is a mixture of isopropyl alcohol and water. I'll go into some of this a little bit more in depth. This is just a, uh, a broader overlook of the protection. Passenger side is looking good. Let's jump over to the driver side. When it comes to that emblem that's facing us there, uh, the best thing to do is take it off if you can. If it's in the budget, if it's within the budget, we'll do the work. If it's not, then we don't. So we're going to trim around it. We're confident with our trimming skills, so that's no problem whatsoever. All right, moving right along. This is laying down nicely. We grab a towel made especially for paint protection film, wipe off any water droplets so we can inspect it. Now is a good time to make sure you have no bubbles or dust nibs or anything under there that, get, that will get locked under once we start working on the edges. You still have some time to lift. Get that out of there. Use a little bit of heat to shrink it back down. Um, if you do it too many times, guys, you're going to distort the adhesive and it'll look terrible. So um, it, it's always good to get it done right the first time. And this is looking good. Now we can start working on the edges. It's what he's going to be doing um, very shortly here. We have a nice clean installation so far. There are one or two rock chip repairs on the hood that kind of stand out. But as the sun beats down on it and three and four weeks later, um, it will conform to the hood and look fantastic. So now we can work on the edges. We have them trimmed. We have them trimmed a little closer, but leaving enough that we could tuck it under, leaving no lines. We um, pride our, ourselves on trimming and also on the corners, having no tight fingers or lines showing on corners or edges. Another time these awesome towels come into play is when you're tucking in the edges. You can use those to push the film around, tuck it under, and draw out any moisture that was stuck under there. So let's take a look uh, right here. We can also bring out another tool, and that is the heat gun. It'll draw out the moisture, get that adhesive tacky once again so we can tuck it under, make it stick. It also shrinks the film as well a little bit. We also have one of the corners done, no lines, no tight fingers. The fingers are where the film folds up on itself, and we like to have all corners finger free. So we're just going to use that uh, scheme and work our way all the way around the edge of the hood. Okay, it's getting there. It's, it could take uh, a few attempts to get that to 
uh, tuck up under there and stay. You can walk away, work on another panel as well, and come back, and the film will be dry under there. Then you can tuck it under, and it will stick. And here is yet another tight, uh, pointy corner that we have perfected. No fingers, no lines. If you come to the course uh, in two weeks, we'll teach you how to do that as well. And here's some areas that are being a little stubborn. Patience. When it comes to paint protection film, if you have patience, you're going to be absolutely fine. Finding your tack points on each panel is huge and important. And then working a little bit of the film at a time. Aligning and stretching. All right, we're satisfied with the hood for now. We'll come back and make sure everything is tacked down and sticking a little bit later, but we're gonna lay down the front passenger side fender. This one's getting the whole front clip um, filmed, which means the hood, both fenders, the headlights, the bumper, the grill, anything that is from the windshield forward. Sometimes you just do a partial front end, a bumper, uh, eight, the first 18 inches of the hood, the headlight and some other areas and sometimes we can PPF the whole vehicle as well. So the same um, technique will apply here with the fender. Uh, it's going to be floating up on top of that slip solution so you can align it and then tack it and work little areas at a time. A small flat panel like this will take you no time at all. We're going to wipe off the water droplets, make sure there's no air bubbles stuck under there, and start working on the edges. The install of the fender piece is nice and clean, moving along rather nicely, and we'll be done with this front clip installation in no time at all. And really, we simply repeat this process all the way around the vehicle. There are a ton of tools to help you with the installs, a little tools that can help you tuck the film in under tight areas, uh, different shapes, lengths, and sizes of the squeegees themselves, and a ton of different types of knives to use for trimming purposes. Okay, looking good. Another very pointy uh, peak on this panel uh, with no fingers, no lines. We're just going to, well, here we have a piece that's being a little stubborn. And you can break out the heat gun or just tuck it in with your fingers. Moving right along. And we move along to the most difficult part or piece of the installation that's the front bumper piece it's only because of the uh, numerous uh, body lines and peaks and contours up here makes it uh, you know it can be challenging but if you just get used to the tack points where to tack it where to start to stretch it where to line it up and where to squeeze it down you'll be perfectly fine don't let it intimidate you just take your time and stay calm. It 
it's always nice to have help to get it done in a timely manner. If you're in a crunch, if you're in a time crunch and you have a deadline, but you can absolutely do this by yourself. When you're finished, we have a nice clean install, matches perfectly, looks fantastic, and you really have the ultimate protection when it comes to protecting against rock chips. When this is available, the surface is, uh, the service is available here. If you want to contact us to talk about it more, feel free. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section, and we'll catch you in the next video.